Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. And we are going to look at some brand new product today. We're going to make a fun fold card with brand new product. You can tell it's her nap time because she's yawning. Um, and we are just going to have a great time. I know it's the week before Christmas for those if you're watching live. Um, and we're all just super busy doing all kinds of things. Let me check and make sure that... Um, we actually are here live. I have to, I have to like see it with my own eyes to believe it. So let's make sure. Um, okay, we are live. Good, good. Mimi, good to see you from Wichita, Kansas. Marsha, good to see you. And Renee, um, Linda. Oh my gosh, you guys are right on it. I, Carol Schaefer, good to see you. Pam, Tammy. Um, it's good to see you guys. You know, we had some rain last night, some really good rain, like with wind blowing and crazy hard rain. And I haven't seen the rain totals yet, but it was some good rain. And um, I'm hoping we get a little bit more tonight because we, you guys know, we really need it here in Southern California. Thanks, Marcia. Hi, Cindy Reed. Yes, it's the, it's a, uh, a little gingham, a red gingham bow for Christmas with her little Christmas sweater. You know, I've left this Christmas sweater on her for a couple days and she's been just so happy. She's been sleeping a lot. I think it's because she's nice and warm and toasty. It's not cold here at all compared to you guys, but uh, the last I saw today was 59, which for us is fairly cold. And she's little and down near the ground, so. Um, I don't know if you're stressed, if you're busy, but I just want to encourage you to just relax and take a few minutes to just enjoy card making with me today. Thank you, Carol. Vicki Eakins, good to see you from Arizona. Uh, Tina Lesson, good to see you. And I do have to tell you, I because it's Christmas, I have five prizes today. They're all the same thing. And of course, I'll give them away a week from today. Oh, Linda, it was 29 degrees when you woke up. Oh, my gosh. Burr. But um, I do have five prizes, so put prize um, if you want a prize. But be I thought, well, because it's the, you know, the last time we're going to be together before Christmas that I would give away five prizes. So it's a big prize day. Um, so let's see. Um, three more days till Christmas, and you guys if you've been looking on my Facebook page, um, you saw that I've been making cranberry nut bread for the family, and I gave you guys the recipe, and I think you could read it if you enlarged it a little bit, but my husband is very happy, and um, it's it's fun. I'm still, I've still got two more loaves I'm going to make tomorrow, so you're welcome uh, for the recipe. I, I think you'll like it, too. You'll, I think you'll love it. So, big news, the catalog. I'm gonna put Ellie down, she's ready for her nap. The catalog is going live on January 4th, which is, well, less than two weeks. So very soon, and I have something I wanna show you guys too, not related to the catalog, but check this out. Look at this. Is this not gorgeous? This is a humongous mug with my logo on it. And on the back, it has my, um, whoops, I'm getting it out of the, well, let me see. I'll just turn it around like this. The back has my uh, my website, prettypapercards.com. This was given to me, I actually got two of them by my upline, Mary Fish. Um, because I was in the top 100 in the United States. I still can't believe it. I was number 87 in the whole US. And thanks to many of you, very many of you who helped that. And I, I so appreciate it. But for la so for last year, I was in the top 100 demonstrators in the United States. 
So Mary gave those of us on her team who uh, were in the top 100 a pair of mugs with our logo on them. Isn't that so sweet? And I'm totally enjoying it. And it holds an entire uh, can of Coke. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> I'm going to take a little sip now. And my, um, my good friend Tammy Hogue, who is on here, she gave me a beautiful Christmas mug too. So I had a little battle. Mary's mug, the Christmas mug, you know, you have so many, if you have mugs that are special, you just have a little battle on <laughs> which one to use. But I wanted to show that to you guys. Okay, the new catalog, which you know I can't show you until the 4th, but the new catalog, and um, if you don't have one and you uh, want one, email me, Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com. I saw one of you, um, I think it was one of you who said that you are no longer a demonstrator. And so if you aren't a demonstrator any longer and you want a, if you want a, um, a catalog, both catalogs, the celebration, just email me and I'll send you one. I've got, I've got like 20 or more here in my, just over on my shelf. So if you want a catalog, let me know. I mean, I hope that you would order from me, but I want all of you who are watching to have, to have a catalog. Okay, so what I, I'm going to turn you down because I'm going to talk for a minute about shares and I got a lot of stuff. I got everything cut to show you. So let me turn you down and let me see. Okay, so we're still on my fancy um, glass matte studio board. Let me see if I can get a little more light on it. Isn't that just so pretty? And you know, I wanted to ask some of you, if your demos and you have gotten the Glass Mount Studio or you know about it, I saw one demo who wrote on it with like a felt pen or something. And I tried that, but it just, if I push my finger over it, it just came right off. So is there a pen that sticks on it? But, because I know you can use alcohol to clean the glass mat. So I don't know what, I'm going to have to figure out what kind of pen she used because she was writing reminders all over her board. And so I'm interested to know. I'm sure I'll find out. Okay, so first the ribbon shares. This is what I wanted to show you. What is in my ribbon share? And there are four ribbons in the, three ribbons and twine in the new catalog. And so this one, let me get my glasses on here so I can read it. Metallic ribbon and it's pretty peacock and gold and look at that can you see how pretty that is pretty peacock and gold very beautiful this is one of the ribbons um, this is another one which is pretty spiffy this is um, gold leather it says gold faux leather trim and it's just it's not i don't know if i would be tying a bow with it but um, it's Definitely you could make loops to put under things. It's really, really special. And then many of you have seen the red bordered ribbon that goes with the bee, the bee mind set. And then there are these th three twines in one package. And in my, my ribbon share, you're gonna get a full package of this. So you would get a quarter of each one of these and a full package of that twine in your ribbon share and the ribbon shares are let me check i've got my paper here only twenty dollars plus shipping so i i'm telling you all this so that you can reserve your shares email me to reserve your shares now so that on the 27th or 28th next week i'm able to send you an invoice and i want to have all the names ready to go um Renee, you wrote on yours with a marker and clean it with alcohol. It's not stamping up, but it is a glass mat. Okay, Renee, my question was, this is the marker that I used. This one, um, just a Pentel kind of marker. And you can, it doesn't show a lot, but then if you just barely brush over it, it just totally comes off. And so I guess, you know what I wanted to know is if you could write on it with a Sharpie. But Sharpies are supposed to be pretty permanent. So I was a little questioning that. But anyway, let me know what kind of pen. Roz, you can use regular marker or Stampin' Write marker 
and wipe off with water or baby wipe, says Roz. Needs to dry first or it will smudge. Okay. You can use Stampin' Blends and let it dry. Wipes off with alcohol wipe or sometimes baby wipe. Cindy, you can use a Sharpie because I'm kind of, I have these super fun pink Sharpies and I've been kind of afraid to use one. Should I try it? With you guys here, do you think will it will it come off with alcohol? Because I have some alcohol right here. <sniffs> okay, I'm just gonna go down in the corner where you can't really see. Oh, okay. Well, it went on and wiped off with my finger, but I didn't let it dry. Oh, you can use a sharpie. Okay, okay. Let's do this over here. Let me put my. Maybe I can get my camera just a little. That's what I was hoping. And I was hoping it would stay on there until I take it off. I should ask that person, Cindy. It will come off with alcohol, Vicki. Okay, I knew you guys would help me with that. Thank you so much. Great, great, great. I'm having a few lighting issues, but I think you can see. Okay, so you saw the ribbon share. Now let's go on to the paper share and we'll leave my hello there. So I've cut everything for a paper share. Um, one of my paper shares and the paper shares are 38 plus shipping the only thing I didn't cut was the bees because I need to use what I could get you know as a demonstrator we can only get so much before January 4th so I just had one little scrap but you all know the bee paper is amazing so I shot, thought I'd show you the others because I hadn't seen some of these um, you know until I just got them all the way through hi Allison Beal good to see you um you use Sharpies on your stamp cases, says Pam. When you want to clean it, just use alcohol. Okay, super. I knew you guys would help me. Okay, I'm going to go through the papers in the paper share. The, there are seven papers, I believe. Um, and so this this first one is Forever Love. Just in case you have, and you get a quarter of a pack, which is what this is. And this is the Forever Love paper. It's beautiful. It's a specialty with gold on one side. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's some pretty peacock, and there's, um, that's petal pink, okay. This is the beautiful, which we all love, perennial lavender. And you get a quarter of a pack of this. And I think actually, you know, really for the price, it's a pretty good deal to get. And then what you do is you just try out, and then you, whatever you like more, you buy a, an individual pack of it. Here's the back. I think that's a better way to do that. I'm kind of really liking this one right here. I like that. I think that's pretty. Okay, that is perennial lavender. Is that what I said? Yeah, perennial lavender. Okay, now we're going to use this today. This is Poetic Expressions, and I'm really liking it. Let me see if I can, I'll just spread this out. Let me see if I can spread it out for you very very pretty and we're going to use the whole suite today we're going to make a fun fold card okay there we go and on the back very nice poetic expressions this is one of my favorites the nature sweetness and this is a specialty also this is the gold side which is so beautiful and then you turn it over and you have kind of the brown side which is also beautiful rock and roll now at first i was a little like eh, because i don't really play a guitar or have anyone that plays a guitar yes that lavender is beautiful pam um but here's the deal about this rock and roll on the back it's black and white and if you're a black and white lover like i am and these aren't backs and fronts are kind of mixed up but i think we're going to like these like this is going to go beautiful with with many colors so I like the backs more so than the fronts and then this is one called Just Kidding and it's very adorable very sweet little children and I thought okay same with this I don't have grandchildren although they're cute but then you guys look at the back of these this one to me is beautiful there's a pink one with stars I think the backs on i if, I, I mean, I've, I'm going to have a whole pack of it myself, but I think the backs are what really sell this if you don't have children or grandchildren. So there we go. That's a paper share plus the, you know, like I mentioned, the, um, uh, 
the bees, which I don't have in here. I'm having a I'm having a local class right away in January, and I need all the paper I've got. And if you're interested in the bees, and you want me, you want, well, let me start again about the bees. Uh, the Bee Mine set with the punch that makes the beautiful bees. I'm going to do a class to go right away in the new year. I just haven't gotten it together, but I'm hoping to this weekend. And if you are interested in the Bee Mine set, I order pronto right away, like the minute that thing goes live. So I get everything right away and I have two day delivery. Um, and then I'll put a class together with it for you. So if you're interested in the Bee Mine set, um, keep an eye out on my uh, face on my Facebook or my newsletter, subscribe to my newsletter because that's where I always send everything first and you'll find out about how to be one of the first to get the Be Mine and a full class from me. Okay, are you ready? We are gonna make, okay, this is a really fancy card, you guys. It's very fancy and it's very pretty and it's made from uh, poetic, no, thoughtful expressions. The paper is poetic expressions. And I love this beautiful hummingbird. Can you see the hummingbird right there? And the flowers. And this is the fun full part. This opens up, I think it's a joy card. And there is another little saying. And then you can write your happy birthday on the inside. So this is a special fun fold card and we're going to put this together today. So are you ready? It's it's really whoops. It's really a beautiful beautiful card. My just as an FYI, my lights that I always use that are attached to my desk inside here, they um they died and it's all up in the wall and so we have to have an electrician come out so in the meantime my husband had get me all these lights I have sitting all around me <laughs> so that's why they sometimes go funny okay this is the beautiful brand new set called thoughtful expressions and the stamp set is beautiful look at the stamp set and I like the I like the sentiments it says, you're in my thoughts today. Here's one I really love. Sometimes there are no words. These are things that we say nowadays, um, probably more than, um, Eleanor, good to see you. Maybe more than sympathy, but to send someone, sometimes there are no words. That is a really great sentiment. So this is beautiful, but check out these dies. Oh my gosh. So there are, look at these layered label dies look at these and they're all stitched on both sides of the cut look at these beautiful circle-ish dies then there are the design the dies that cut the stamp sets then there are leaves and this i'm not using this today but this is one of my favorites i haven't even used it yet but is that not so cute this die set is on my absolute favorites list. Some people say you have an A-list. Okay, this is my A-list. I love the stamp set, but if you can only get one thing, I, oh, Cindy bought the bundle, good. Those dies are worth the price of the bundle, totally. And then you saw the paper and we're gonna use some of it today. It is gorgeous. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this fun fold card so if you need to take some notes definitely do so um, I will post it with the measurements and this fun fold is one that went out to my kit people that just got the birthday stock up class that was sent out um, they got the, the they didn't get this card of course but it their kit uses this fun fold so there are my lights being weird again. Okay, so you start out with your basic eight and a half by eight and a half by eleven uh, cardstock, basic white cardstock. Score it four and a quarter. Okay, and the next thing, and this is a little bit tricky. These are the two other papers that you need with this set, or to make this card, and they're very similar. One is five and a half by four and an eighth and one is five and a half by four. And so those are the two measurements. The, so what actually happens with this card is 
this I call this the small card and it tucks under here and then you put another sheet on top so that nobody sees that that little card is tucked in so this small card we're going to go ahead and fold that first and so we want to make sure it's the smaller of the two so that's this one and you can score it at two and three quarters more more often lately I've just been folding it because it really is just a tiny little thing and you can just fold it right there at two and three quarters use your bone folder and I love this glass mat for the bone for the um, for uh, scoring and burnishing because it gets a really nice flat line so now what's going to happen is this little card is going to go right inside here so that when you close this the card folds over right got it so um the way I have been doing this and the way I was telling the people in my class to go to do it is take out your multi-purpose liquid glue and put your card kind of where you want it like that then pull it up while it's around the front of your card put your glue on the back like that and then close your card up. Close it up. And of course, with the glue, you have a few minutes, whoops, you have a few minutes to make sure that the card is down and pressed down. Because the issue is, and let me see, that might, is that just right? Yeah, that's just right. So now your card is glued to the inside of the card. I know that's it's a little hard to describe. Um, what color cardstock are you using? This is basic white. I think it's the light that is a little bit off, might make it look like vanilla, but it is basic white. And I hope to get these lights fixed a little because it's just not there. That might be a little bit better. So now we have this little small card adhered and we know it will close because if you adhere the small card without checking, it may not close on the front. So that's just a little trick, okay? And now what we can do is go ahead and put our uh, beautiful designer series paper right down on the front like this. Here's the back side. So I think this is boho blue. I mean, it's very pretty also. So this is your standard card DSP front where it's four, and a, four by five and a quarter. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and put that down. And we can also go ahead and put our card here. This piece, I cut it at four and an eighth wide so that you have a little room for the fold in here because it would not be good if everything crammed into that fold. So that's why it's just a little bit short over there, four and an eighth by five and a half. Now on here, we are going to put a couple of those pretty flowers from the beautiful um, stamps. I wanna get the name down, Thoughtful Expressions. And I'm using crumb cake just because it kind of, anyway, I'm just using crumb cake, okay. And this says, wish, oh no, wrong stamp. Nope, wrong stamp, totally wrong stamp. Where is my little flower stamp? Here is my little flower stamp in here, okay. Let me get, I don't know why I put this away. Silly me, okay. So we're gonna stamp, before we go ahead and glue this down, we're gonna stamp our little flower in the corner, on each corner here. Just like that. Isn't that the prettiest flower? I mean, definitely we could color it in, but we're, we're using other flowers, so I'm, I'm not going to color these in. And then we can go ahead and put this and go ahead and glue this down. And then you have your basic fun fold card. Being a little sloppy today. And so what you want to do is match it to the edges over here on the right of the card base just like that and it should yep 
it comes out just right. So there, I don't know if you can see that little portion there that allows your card to fold very well. So now, basically, all you're going to do is decorate, right? It's, it's just super cute. So the next thing we can put down is our uh, designer series paper for the front, for the little card, the small card. And this little one is um, two and a half by three and three quarters, the DSP. So we'll go ahead and get this down. And then we're gonna do a little stamping. And we're gonna stamp the hummingbird and I'm going to show you some tips about that. Okay, there we go. So we're going to set this aside to dry and we're going to go ahead and stamp our hummingbird. Okay, and I am going to stamp him in crumb cake ink, but one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try stamping off uh, because it gets very dark and there's a die that cuts him, but I want it to be a little bit I don't want it to be super, super dark. Okay, so let's see. Stamp off. Stamp off. And see, that's plenty dark. Isn't that just the most beautiful hummingbird you've ever seen? I mean, I think Stampin' Up! did an amazing job here. Thank you, guys, about the, um, the hello. That worked out great with the sharpie marker just great okay so now we're going to do a little coloring and i want to show you if you do not like to color i have several friends that don't like to color but i'm going to show you how this is so easy and the reason it's so easy is because stampin up has done everything for us they basically have all the shading so i'm going to use um i'm using um bubble bath of course one of my favorite colors and I'm just using the light bubble bath and I'm just going to come in here and you don't really have to do a lot. I'm not looking super close. I want to get it where you can really see it. I'm not being super careful. I mean, I'm trying to be careful to stay in the lines, but I'm just kind of doing little swaths, swatches of the feathers because it's meant the lines of the stamp do everything for me. So I'm basically just coming out like this and then going back in and doing a little bit like that. See what I mean? Really easy. And I'm going to color in here. I'm going to color that all in completely and maybe a little bit in here. Okay, now I'm going to take the dark. Wasn't that easy? I mean, anybody can do that. And here is the dark bubble bath. And then I'm just going to go in and put a little dark bubble bath just around those shade lines a little bit. It's just not even a big deal. Poof. Done. Then what I want to do is go in with my crumb cake. And I'm going to color his face. And again, the shading is all there. You don't really need to do anything. This is light crumb cake. And this is his little body. And you're just going to, oops, I forgot. I think that might be a wing. Let me get those wings. It's such a beautiful design. Such a beautiful, such beautiful artwork, I guess is what I want to say. So there we go. Look at how easy that is. Very easy. Now on the other one, I ended up putting a little bit of berry burst in there. And I don't know if I like it. Do you see the berry burst on my first one? And that's a light berry burst. So I thought I'd try it just with the pink this time. I can always go back. And let's now just cut this guy with our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm telling you, this is one thing I really, really like. Oh, sorry, I have these lights on the place. This is the thing I really, really like about this uh, glass mat is that this stays nice and where it should be. It doesn't move about the, the emboss machine. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down just a little bit so it can fit th through the machine. Okay, and 
Can you see that? Okay, we'll put our little die, and this die fits, I mean, just perfectly. You know how Stampin' Up! does. We'll see. I was thinking about it earlier, and I, you, I wouldn't want to chop off his little beak, so I hope the beak goes in the little skinny part. <laughs> because you can't have a hummingbird without that long, beautiful beak. So, let's see. Yes, look how pretty that turned out. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now let me move this without trying to crash everything. You like the berry burst? You guys like the berry burst, okay. We'll, okay, we'll, we'll give it, uh, it did give it some character, didn't it? Yeah. Delicate looking, like berry burst. I always trust you guys to tell me what's what. Okay, so we'll, let's go on. We'll do a couple other things. So these are two of the flowers that I stamped on the inside, but you know something? I went ahead and colored those because I didn't want, um, I didn't want to take too much time, and I colored them just the same way. I've got three of them, and I colored them just the same way, very light. I thought I had three. Hmm. Well, maybe, oh, I do have three. Okay, there they are, yeah. So I did that, and I just used some Granny Apple Green to tuck in there. So the next thing is I, I went ahead and cut some of these beautiful dies. I mean, you guys, these are so pretty. And these two are from this die. I just wanted to save time because I wanted to show mostly the fun fold. And this is the smaller one. So they're all graduated, um, graduated sizes and they're just so pretty. So what I'm going to do is start out by putting, I wanted to put these as a background. So this is kind of a fancy card. I don't usually do totally this fancy of a card, but I wanted, I just wanted to because this set is so pretty. Okay, so, and you see the stitching on the inside there? I just love the stitching. Yeah, the light's coming and going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some glue and put one of these on and then one underneath just for background and where it pokes out under I think looks really pretty I don't know I just wanted to so we'll put this one right down here like this I know that's a little bit odd but and then the hummingbird can go up there and then the flowers will come out I wanted to have one flower where he's really kind of got his beak right in that flower like that. So I think we'll do that. And I think the first thing I'll do is put the hummingbird on. And I'm gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals to lift him up. And with that quick coloring, you can make a bunch of hummingbirds. It doesn't take a lot of coloring because of the way Stampin' Up! has, has created that image especially if you're using a light color ink, which makes a difference. I know some of you are probably gonna make some really gorgeous flower, uh, hummingbirds. And I think if I, if I sat around and played long enough, I could make a really gorgeous one. But I kind of like just the quick. And I think I'm gonna leave him this way just to be different, just so I have a little different one from the first one. And then I am going to glue these down because the hummingbird is the one who's the star here, and I want him to be lifted up. So I'm going to get his beak right on that, right on the center of that flower because that's where they go is in the center. And then I'm going to glue another one right in there. Just kind of like that. Let's see. Get your little wings up. Okay, excellent. And now we're going to do our sentiment. So I have a piece of crumb cake ink. 
and I'm actually going to stamp the sentiment in crumb cake ink also. Thank you guys. It's just the stamp. That's why I wanted to show it to you. This set is so beautiful. Okay, so our sentiment is going to be um, enjoy your day in crumb cake ink just like this. And this is my little scrap piece, and then I'm going to cut it out with a die. Okay, that's good. Just like that. And then the die that I'm going to use for this, there wasn't a die that fit it perfectly from that set. So I'm going to go back to my classic, you know, best loved, stylish shapes. Everybody should have this in your collection. And that that banner die fits just perfectly. So let me get up the stamp and cut and emboss machine again and we'll cut our label. Really it's kind of a, it's a label die really is I think what they call these. One thing I like about this is it has its own flagged ends because I do like to flag the ends which means that little triangle at the back, well the front or the back of your sentiment. And I like it because this one has that already right on it. So let me see if I can get this just right. Okay, that looks pretty good. It fits perfectly in there. Okay, here we go. Yes, everyone needs the stylish shapes dies. Absolutely. Tracy uses them all. Okay, so now we're just going to put this on dimensionals and put this right up under here. And the crumb cake paper and in ink looks so nice because um, everything is in crumb cake. And I used it. This color in here in the designer series paper is actually wild wheat, one of our in colors. Um, I don't know, I thought the crumb cake looked better. I didn't want to make the hummingbird out of wild wheat. It just didn't seem right, so I wanted to make him out of crumb cake. And there's our sentiment, and then I have a little bow out of linen thread that I want to tuck right up in there with a mini glue dot. Here's my little glue dot. And let's just get that off of there. And I think I'm just going to stick that right onto the glue dot and then pull it all off. And then what you do is kind of tuck the glue dot under the knot like that. And we're going to just stick it right up in there. It just gives a little interest to the, to the front of the card. Now let's do this part over here. I didn't at first do this part, but I really thought it looked, it needed something. Don't you think it needed something? Now, I've got so much happening over here, and I had one more little flower that I've lost somewhere. Okay, well, we'll go on with this, because I'm going to stamp this. I found another sentiment. There wasn't another sentiment that I liked as an inside sentiment here. And this Everyday Detail set, which is another new one, which I'm going to be using a lot, has this sentiment that says, wishing you so much joy on this special day. And I just thought that went along so well with the card. So, oh, I don't need to open it. Why am I opening that? Okay, I just need ink, ink. Here we go. Oh, there's my flower, wonderful. Do you do this? I mean, I feel so silly, but don't you do that and you find, where is that thing? And then all of a sudden, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of the beautiful, um, I don't know what you call those, kind of, I don't know, it's like a circle, but not, and it has scallops, but not, so I don't really know. But And I just think that looks so nice on the inside when you open it up. So let's do this. I've got my flower, which I'm happy about. And then I want to put this inside, and I want to put this little flower right there. And I'm just going to glue them down. And the reason is 
that I don't want them to push this mini card up any higher because I want it to lay down as much as possible. So I want to make sure this can be on the inside. It's not poking out too far on the left. So put some of my glue on the back there. Uh-oh. This isn't good. I got a blob of glue right there. Let's see. We'll just get that little thing off. Do you ever do that? Do you guys ever get a blob of glue where it shouldn't be? Now it's going to be a little sticky, so I'm, we used to sell these um, kind of glue erasers, rubber erasers. So I'm just going to go over that area. And you see that little bit of glue coming off? This way it won't stick, and I'll get it all. Okay, I think that's gone. Alrighty, and then we're going to just put that little sweet flower right down there. Just like that. Okay, so there's our front, and then you open it up, and it says, Wishing you so much joy on this special day. Now, the last thing, I want to put some tiny little gold dots, and I love these Bloomin' Pearls. I really do. And I just got this new pack because I ran out of some of the little baby ones. These little baby gold ones, I think, look so pretty on this. And this, the Bloomin' Pearls are in the holiday catalog, which is still... Uh, you can still order from up until January 3rd, but the Bloomin' Pearls are continuing on. So I think they might go into the um, online exclusives. So let's see. Let's do a little something like that. And I think that just finishes off our card really nicely. And I like to just leave those things trailing. So what do you think? Isn't that just a cute birthday card? And now we can compare the two. You know, I do kind of like that berry burst in there. It gives it a little more interest, doesn't it? Let's put it down here. Yeah, it gives it a little bit more interest. I may go back and do that. All right, let's it's it is a gorgeous card. It just really is. But again, it's the it's the set. So, let's come back up and we'll award a prize from last week. Okay, so are you making your list for January 4th? Start making your list. Like if you like this, put down thoughtful expressions and the dies are called the same thing. Thoughtful expressions, thoughtful expressions, dies. Get the bundle at 10% off. Start that list because really, really, you need a list. <laughs> and this catalog is so pretty. Okay, so we haven't met since the 8th of December. And the prize from the 8th of December was a stamp and pierce mat to use with your photopolymer stamps. And the winner is on here, I think, Cindy Howard. Cindy Howard, I thought I saw you on here. But if not, um, definitely uh, email me at Peggy at prettypapercards.com because I don't think I have... Um, I don't think I have your address. I might, but I always like it if you email me because then I don't have to look for it. So Cindy, congratulations on the stamp and Pierce mat. You're going to enjoy it. I love mine. And if you have one, I've got several. So um, congratulations. Now I'm going to tell you about the five prizes for next week. So it'll be December 29th um, when I'll award these prizes. And what I have are five abundant beauty decorative masks, okay? These are the beautiful ones that make the sunflowers, and I think they're gone. I don't think they're available anymore. And I had, I don't know why I ordered so many. I think I was gonna have a class on them, and then I never did. So I have five abundant beauty decorative masks, and I will award all five of them next week on the 29th so if you want one and you haven't put the word prize be sure to put the word prize down so that you can so that you can be 
so that you can get one and you all know I'll, I like to explain it again I number everybody's name I write it all down I number the names and I put the numbers through the random number generator and it chooses the numbers and so this time I get to choose five numbers I'm really excited okay so Merry Christmas to each one of you thank you so much for um, being a part of my life this past year I might say this again next week but I just appreciate each one of you and Thank you so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas.